Okay, so because ColourPop came out with their lippy sticks first, I'm going to go ahead and do swatches of the lippy sticks first. So I'm going to start out with Tootsie, and I'm going to show you how it applies. And I'm, I'm not going to show you application of each and every one like that, but so this is Tootsie. I like it. It's a nice brownie nude. It's very nice. This is Cookie. This is more of just a basic nudie nude, nudie nude, whereas Tootsie was more of a brownie nude. So this is the last of my lippy sticks. They have a really nice feel to them. I like them. Even though my lips are getting a little sore from wiping makeup off of them. They're nice. So I'm going to move on to the ultra matte uh, liquid lipsticks. Okay, so here's all my liquid lipsticks. I'm going to start out lightest and go to the darkest. Okay, this is midi and it is the lightest. And I'm going to show you how to apply this one. And then the other ones I'm not going to show you how to apply. So a liquid lipstick... You just want to be careful to stay within the lines. So when you first put it on, it definitely feels liquidy. And then really it doesn't take more than like 30 seconds and you can feel it drying and see it drying. So you can see that it is just about mattified at this point. So again, this one is midi. And this is a very nude nude. If you're going to wear this, you're going to wear it with like a smoky eye. So a very nude nude. Very nice. This is Trap. This is one of my favorites. Um, it is, I don't know what it is about this, and I don't necessarily know that I, I don't feel like I need uh, lip plumping, but I feel like this plumps my lips. I really, really like Trap. I will definitely be repurchasing it. So now I'm going to move on to the next color. Wow. Just when I say I really like a color, then I try another one, and I'm like, wow, this could be my favorite. This is Beeper. I think I'm thinking of like a Muppets character, but I think that's Beaker, right? Like the science guy. Bill and I, the science guy. So this is Beeper, and you know what's weird about this one? I mean, it's a matte, but I feel like there's some shine to it. But in a matty way. Like just at the creases. I love this color. It's so like gray. It's so like nude with like a gray overtone. Really pretty. On to the next one. Sallow. So this is like a pinky nude. Um, I like it because it's like Sallow Mando. <laughs> Which is a nickname that I wish I had. Salamander. One of my friends calls me Salamander. But he's the only one. I like this. I like this. This is like a nice everyday pink. I like it a lot. On to the next color. Blessed be to all the people before me who have done lip swatches. Your lips are on fire after a few of these. You're like wiping it off, fixing your makeup. This is a lot of work, girls. This is a lot of work. So this is a color called Bumble. What is it? Like, I love all of these colors. Like, besides maybe like midi, which I think is probably a little too late for me, I'm really loving everything so far. So this one is, which one? What was this again? I just said it. Bumble. So it's like a really nice everyday fall color. 
This is like a rusty kind of muted red. I mean, that's how I see it. Really pretty. Bumble. On to the next color. This one is called tulle, like a tulle skirt, um, tulle material. Um, it's definitely blue-based because I feel like my teeth, which I'm not a huge fan of, sorry, I'm a little self-conscious about them, um, don't look bad with this color, with this dark color. Um... I like it. I mean, I, I could see myself wearing this this winter. I'm not a big fan of, like, dark, vampy colors on me. I'm more of, I'll pull out a red when it comes to wanting to look vampy. But I would wear this as, like, you know, probably, like, out to dinner with the girls. I would wear this color. I'd wear it out. Um, you know... Honestly, like, even when I worked in an office, I would wear this in an office. It's not, like, a scary color or anything. It's nice. Tool. So, on to the last color. And the last shade, Creeper. First of all, I'm in love with the name of this color, Creeper. I mean, it's creeptastic. It's lovely. And this red is, like... Anyone who truly loves a really nice blue-based red, it's it's everything. Like, this is, you know, still a all-day lipstick, which was, like, the first liquid mattifying lipstick that came out, what, like, two and a half years ago, which I went crazy over, and I believe it's Biso, which is their red that I love, um, is great because when you put on a red lipstick in... Any color skin that you have, it's going to bleed. It's going to do things. It's going to move around. When you when you want a good red, getting a liquid lipstick like this is great. So I paid the $22 or $25 a tube for the Stilla. But this is 6 or $7. Um, the prices aren't on here. It's either 6 I think it's $6. I think these are either $6 or $7. I mean, they're just, like, amazing. I have to take this call. Hello?